What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Open Water TV. Today's video, I'm going to go over some tips for bed fishing for smallmouth. I'm going to show you rod, reel, line, and the bait that I really like to use uh, when I bed fish. So first off, if you don't know what bed fishing is or what a bed, what that means, um, when fish spawn, so when they reproduce, um, they'll make what's called a bed. They'll kind of get all the silt off the hard bottom area of the lake and then the, um, the female will lay the eggs and then the male will fertilize the eggs and then keep guarding the bed until the um, fry hatch. Um, and this can be a good, uh, fun time to catch fish um, as long as you put them right back in the water. Uh, when I bed fish, it's no more, out, no more than a minute, the fish, um, just so they go back and um, you can keep the population of the lake up because you don't want the fish to die and then all the eggs to die too. Um, so when you bed fish, basically, what you do is you're going to throw your bait out past the bed and then bring it towards the bed and the fish are going to be in like defense mode and as soon as they see something coming to the bed they're going to go up and eat it or try to figure out what it is and get it away from the bed the way to protect the eggs so my favorite way to uh, bed fish my favorite bait actually is a little craw rigged on a jig head this is a strike king uh, baby rage craw uh, this is the package uh, it's in pearl they come in a nine pack uh, as you see, I went through most of a pack this year, bed fishing. Um, and the rod I like to use, this is a 6'6", six, six, uh, medium action spinning rod. Um, and then I have just a, a loose spinning reel on here. I uh, spooled up with 10 pound braid. I use braid on all my spinning reels. And then I have a 8 pound uh, fluorocarbon leader. So my favorite jig head to use is a Lunka Hunter Pro Shaky Head. Um, a quarter ounce. Um, I don't like anything over a quarter ounce, just it's a little too heavy. Usually I'm fishing really shallow water, um, so I don't want to be throwing a big jig out there and have it just thump in the bottom, so then I can't really feel the bite as well. Uh, so what I do is I just tie a quick palomore knot um, to the jig head, go through the bottom of the um, eye right there, then come out through the top and just do your palomore knot. Uh, cut your tag in, uh, and then you're ready to thread your craw on. So, like I said here, I have a um, baby rage craw. So what you do, you just get the end and get the screw part of the shaky head and just screw it on so it's nice and straight. And once you do that, you're just going to like you're doing regular Texas rig, just find out where the hook goes through and come through the back, just like that. And what this jig head does, why I like it so much, is when it hits the bottom, it stands up just like that because of the flat bottom. So it's going to stand up and these claws are going to float like this. So it looks like something's going down and eating the eggs in the bed and that really gets the, the fish mad. Um, and I think it promotes the strike better. Now the reason I like a white craw um, normally, I don't really fish white just because it's not natural in the lakes that I fish. We don't have a lot of shad lakes um, around here. It's mostly bluegill, sunfish, stuff like that. Um, but white, when you're bed fishing, you don't really need a specific color. You can pretty much throw any color as long as something's in the bed. Fish are going to eat it or try to grab it and take it out of their bed. And white is just easier for us fishermen to see. Uh, so if you throw it out there, it's easier to see a white craw coming back than a green pumpkin craw. Um, so it's just a lot easier for people, not really, doesn't really have anything to do with the fish. So like I said earlier, with bed fishing, just throw your bait out past the bed. You don't want to throw it directly onto the bed because you want the fish to see it, the bait coming into the bed. So throw it past the bed, bring your rod up, um, work it a little bit, jig it, let it come up, let it come up. Uh, and then just watch, if your bait disappears and you don't see the fish, the fish has it. If you do see the fish um, and you see him strike it, that's even better. That's just really cool to see. Um, and I have some footage coming up um, in a minute. Uh, you'll be able to see um, some underwater footage of bass striking this bait uh, right here. Um, so if you've got made it to this part of the video, just stay tuned. Uh, I'm going to show the footage now. I'm um, just going to say now thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, uh, Snapchat, all that will be in the description. Check out Lanka Hunter uh, if you want some of these jig heads and they make some other tackle. It's really nice. Uh, so please check them out. Link will be in the description for their website and thanks for watching.